first alert weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, we've had days of gloom and rain, even some snow, but <laughs> fortunately for the eclipse, it's going to be nice out, right? Yes, so we are going to see that changing. You took my thunder from me. Well, not real thunder. You took the best part of this forecast is how those skies that you're seeing out there with clouds, they're going to be clearing by tomorrow. And that path of totality is looking very good once you make your way to New England. So over 30 million people living across this path of totality, obviously millions more traveling there. And of course, you want the good weather. Burlington, 60 degrees and the skies are looking mainly clear, especially at the start. By the end, a few clouds could be mixing in and they will likely be upper level clouds, bringing more of a hazy view rather than obstructing that view. And for Boston, 64 degrees out there for temperatures tomorrow so it's definitely going to be a warm one as you're heading out and about tomorrow compared to today specifically 57 degrees when the partial eclipse starts we're talking totality here Burlington Vermont 57 degrees look at those temperatures as they fall 50 degrees during totality seven degrees cooler once the moon comes in and blocks that sun it's going to be a lot more like what you see uh, at dusk time the animals will even start acting like it's dusk you might hear some crickets chirping you might hear the birds chirping uh, so that totality 326 and then the partial eclipse will end at 437 so temperatures jumping back into the upper 50s with mostly sunny skies as that does wrap up as far as Boston's concerned it's going to be warm we're not expecting all that many clouds a few could be scattered out and about but it does still look like it is a great forecast to get out there and view it and of course in Boston we have 94 percent 93 percent totality so cloud coverage looking good further west definitely not looking all that great uh, especially once you make your way towards Buffalo there is going to be a thick deck of clouds out there but for us we do have a fairly good forecast for this tomorrow as far as today goes 45 degrees for high temperatures in Boston Bedford 49 degrees 47 in Worcester day and night between today and tomorrow tomorrow we're definitely jumping into spring and doing so quickly 61 for high temperatures in Boston Natick 65 degrees 63 for Plymouth so a nice warm afternoon as we go through out and about for our Monday and Tuesday is looking great as well. We do have our next rain chances on the way and they're not going to quite drop temperatures down as far as what we've been seeing and even the low and middle 40s for the most part. We're going to keep things warmer, but that overcast feel is going to be back or that overcast look is going to be back for Thursday and Friday, a 60% rain chance both Thursday and Friday out there. But today and tomorrow looking great as sea breeze will be picking up for Tuesday, bringing those temperatures along the coast a little cooler inland though easily in the 60s for Monday and Tuesday and then we're jumping back to those 60s by Friday and very close to that for Saturday and Sunday so we do have some nice conditions you're just going to have to deal with those rain chances towards the end of the work week thank you Sydney we got lucky for tomorrow